going to Nigeria, as I said, it's going to be amazing. We're doing real estate videos. If you're a diaspora watching this and uh, you want to share your story with us, comment down below in the description or even send us an email. If we don't make it on this trip, maybe the next trip you can get to tell your story. Where are chains there? Chain? I never wear chain. You have to wear chain. No. Did you see me wear chain? No, but you have to wear chain. Bro, no. You know Nigeria, they don't, they don't play, bro. They don't rob you. Hey, you know, so on the mission to find my visa. And like, what, where are we four hours away from this flight right now? So when I get a scent, it's gonna happen. I know I'm not worried, but I'm like, well, as we're walking into the airport, like, let's go ahead and get this done, you know? Um, Ghana stuff just be happening all of a sudden. So you just gotta be ready. Stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. There was Bro, a huge credit card to check for it. Yeah. But it's outfit. What? No, I, that's what I. You oh, his outfit. outfit. Bro. I gotta. Oh. <laughs> After dealing with everything, I finally no. got my visa. Yeah. Huh? And uh, you got your visa. You got, got your my visa. Ticket. Got the ticket. Got everything taken care of. You know. So it's no wahala. Just like now, how I said. You first know? time of going to Nigeria. Mm -hmm. One more country in the whole of Africa for you. Ghana was the first, Nigeria is the second. Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see Nigeria and Kenya is next. Let's get it. The thing is, my bag was 3 kg overweight. And trust me, I have no belongings. I have literally like five shirts, five trousers. But the equipment that we're going to use for the production is eating up all my storage and my luggage. So the lady they had to help me out so I don't have to pay any money by transferring some of my luggage to my friends out here. So yeah, you see all the trouble nice. we go through for a good production? This is why I'm telling you, you should give us money. <laughs> Donate. Don't be stingy. I'm leaving you now. I'm leaving my videographer in Ghana. But I have my second videographer and my partner here. Let's get it. So don't worry. The next trip you go with us, okay? Next time. Nine dollars. Two point five. For what? This is Ghana Airport, guys. Everything you see here is charged in USD at the airports. Interesting. Let's see who is here. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm currently going to Nigeria right now. It's going to be my um, first time. Technically not first time, but to actually go do something into Nigeria, I think it's gonna be my first time. I'm excited. So if you see these, comment down below what kind of videos you want to see me um, do. Also, who you want me to collaborate with whilst I'm here in, in Nigeria. So yeah. And also rate my outfit. I'm trying to drip a little bit. Don't blame me. If I look like this, it's my stylist. It's his fault. I'm here with Michael. Hello, Michael. Hello, Michael. <laughs> He's enjoying his meat pie. He's, he has not eaten since morning. Yeah. A little bit of slack. All right. Um, so we are waiting for the flight. We already checked in. We have our tickets and everything. Take a bus to the flight, obviously. We are waiting. And I found out that it's a Ghanaian, like it's a Ghanaian based airline. When I saw this in the beginning, I thought it was Ghana Airways, but obviously it's not. It looks small though. Looking forward to the flight experience. Private jet vibes. How are you feeling? And like I'm ready to take on Legos. Are they ready for me? That's the question. I actually know. So we're going to Nigeria ah. right now. That's our plane right there. I'm excited for this trip. They said I shouldn't record. So I'm going to cut a camera, but I already got my footage. Oh, bro. <laughs> That's what I do for a living, bro. 
Many don't want to be part of my vlog. Go. You don't wow. want to be part of it. Wow. Huh? Do you want to? I am the star. Main character energy. <laughs> <laughs> I have no headphones, so that's not realistic for me, but hopefully next time. Alright, I'll turn you guys back on when we get to Lagos. Peace. A few moments later. In uh, Nigeria, we here, Lagos. What? How y'all feeling? Nice. I'm very impressed with the airport. It's really huge. That's a plus for Nigeria. Oh. Do you have a message for my people watching? I don't know. <laughs> you don't like camera? Really? It looks no, big though. Juicy. Just landed in Nigeria. I love the airport. Michael, welcome to Nigeria. How are you feeling? I feel nice. I feel fresh. I feel like special things are coming. I can feel it. Bailey? I feel very Yoruba. Baoni, we here. Two cameras. This is the longest bridge in what, Africa? So I think the Eco Hotel is the latest version and the Eco Garden is like the one existed before the Atlantic came. Okay, that makes sense. So this is my Airbnb. Oh no, it's a hotel. Here's Eco um, Atlantic, I think. What is this place called again? It's like Atlantic, I think. Yeah, but like, there's a name for it. Hold on. So we have the gardens. Uh, okay. Instead of the hotel, so we have Eco Atlantic Gardens. This is what it looks like. It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's a king size bed. It's not. Nice. You have a kettle. You also have a mini fridge. You have a scuffle right there. They have a mini fridge. And, uh, I just woke up. We are about to go to Eco Atlantic. It's a brand new day to go film something. I'm going to show you guys around as much as I can, even though I'm filming like a big production. They have a whole market right in front of our hotel. We are at Eco um, Gardens. I literally have to leave by 9.30 and it's at 9 now. I need to also go eat breakfast. We are waiting for Bailey to get ready. Michael is already ready. Are you ready? Hey, when there's too much lotion on you, you know, as black people, you transfer it to over black people. So, you know, I, I had to slide, you know, <laughs> get a break with the lotion, you know, just a little bit. I'm not ashy. So, where we are is called Echo Gardens. Um, that's the surroundings. How do I look, guys? I'm almost wearing a white t-shirt. Ready for night, They have to cut us 30 minutes. I'm like, so what? But they wanted us to be there at nine. I'm like, man, that's not going So at least we have 30 minutes to eat. Yeah, because yeah, I would have been ready, but once you get in the shower, it's hot. Yeah, yeah, it's so nice. Yeah, see. So we're going for breakfast right now. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna get, but one thing I know for sure is I'm gonna eat a lot since it's gonna be my only meal for today. <laughs> I always eat a lot. So. You do? Yes. I mean, I love food. You love food? Yes. Except I can't eat too much because in my belly. Yeah. I will have a a food belly. I'm also watching my belly too, though, but I'm still gonna eat. Good morning, how are you?
show the fox. Oh, it's That's the oven right there. That's when you know the food is good. Anyways, let's go. I'm, I'm recording the behind. I know you guys are going to like me for this trip. Echo suits. This is what I'm eating for breakfast. Um, guess who is eating healthy? Yeah. It's me. <laughs> for now. For now? Yeah. For now. Okay. Bon appetit. Everything. So it's uh, Echo Atlantic is owned by a family, right? Well, not not by family per se, but it's not owned by just them. Just one person, no. It's not owned by just them. It's also partnership with the Western government. I see people sitting under the tree. Who took my seat? <laughs> so we're going to the Eco Atlantic now. Oh,
like a whole city. It's a city. It is a city, it's right? It's why it's Victoria. City. And it takes time to build a city, though. But yeah, looking at but, the yeah, a lot of people think, oh, you know, it's so small, it's an estate, yeah. so they kind of rush to work. Yeah. But once they realize that it's actually a city, it's not an estate. It's a whole city. It's a whole city. Yeah. And it takes time. You don't build a city in a day. Yeah, but even in a year or five. I'm gonna jump. The whole That's sea defense is very impressive. Don't let the water. Bro, I'm, I'm gonna bro, jump. Bro, 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 bro. Uh, I, 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 you're gonna do it? I gotta. I'm, I'm sure I wanna, you I have to. Sure. I have you to wanna do jump or don't I do wanna it? jump. Yeah, like, no, just, no. just go no, to no. the. You can, yeah, I need to I take you home right in one piece. Bro, it's okay, bro. This one. You remember the you remember the waiver you signed? Just this. My friend. Exactly. You remember the waiver? Because of people like you who wanna jump, that's why they gave the waiver. So please don't do it. Thank you. Please. Thank you. Yellow chili to come try some local Nigerian food. Yellow chili, man. Bro, got a I don't, I don't even know what I'm in here for, but <laughs> we gonna we gonna find out. That's it. Yes, sir. I'm excited. Come with me. Okay, let's go. It's actually going to be my first time eating Nigerian uh, pounded yam at uh, Yellow Chili. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, there's music in the background, so I'm not going to record for long because of copyright. So yeah, when it gets here, I'll record again. Ooh, that looks delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It smells so good. Why did you order mine? Why did you order mine? Why did you order mine? Nice, but you can't see it. <laughs> You're not recording, you know that, right? She said it was nice and she didn't want to listen. <laughs> you were supposed to order for me. Why? Why? You know I don't know. They decided. You just didn't trust his judgment, baby. Exactly. Really. And that's no, why you're suffering. I told him to order for me and he ordered the food. I told you to. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying my... Um, first meal in Nigeria so far so what am I trying um, seafood okra and pounded yam so I'll let you guys know it's good do I have to swallow it or chew it swallow it it's spicy, yeah. But I love it though, not too spicy. I can compare it to like okra soup in my country. It's not like um, banku or uh, fufu, it's definitely different texture. Uh, you can tell. Rate it on a scale of one to ten. I need a little more spice, but really? I like it. Seven point five out of ten. Oh, see, 7. I like 5? that. 10. It's 5. not mm. like okra. I just finished my food. I'm gonna give it 9 out of 10. 